Hey, good morning. Yeah, and if you didn't know, it is Mother's Day, so don't forget it. Still got time today to get what you need to do for your mothers, but happy Mother's Day to everyone. We're looking at great weather this morning. If you're going to be out and about, we've got a mix of sun and clouds, but for the most part, it is nice and quiet. Temperature is not bad in the 60s to 70s. Humidity is not as low as it was yesterday, but it's still somewhat pleasant. So we'll continue with uh, just a little bit more humidity today, but it's not going to be unbearable. But there we are south to southwest winds through today. That is pumping in the moisture. It will be breezy at times and it's going to fear feel a little bit warmer than it actually is. I think heat index values could get into the low 90s for some, so it's certainly going to be a warm day, but it's going to be dry out there. If you're going to be in the backyard, sunshine mixing in with a few clouds and it's not until tonight we're going to start to see some showers and storms move in. So this is by 11 12 o'clock. Models do want to produce some spotty showers and storms ahead of our main line of storms, uh, so that's just something we're going to have to watch as we get closer to midnight. Now after midnight, it looks like those storms will start to move on in and we'll be looking at the chance for rainfall all night long in and out and going into your Monday morning. Now Monday afternoon, it does look like we'll see a break maybe by late afternoon and then well, we got more rain in the forecast as we go into uh, your Tuesday. So what we're looking at today, severe weather threat during the afternoon is going to be highest up here in northern Louisiana, but as that line progresses to the south, that severe weather threat will move towards the south in our direction. So this is really for late Sunday and throughout all day Monday, our severe weather threat. It's going to be pretty low. I don't think we're going to see widespread severe weather, but maybe one or two storms is possible to become pretty strong. We're at a marginal risk at the level one out of five and just the typical gusty winds, maybe a few isolated tornadoes possible and some hail. So that will be tonight, unfortunately, while a lot of you were asleep and going throughout. Uh, your Monday. So we'll be watching that for you. Now something else we need to watch is the threat for some heavy rainfall. This type of setup is going to produce some heavy rain in some areas. It should be fairly isolated, but one or two spots could definitely pick up some heavy rain and uh, models are going to jump around on this. Notice this model right now produces it south of the lake. This could very easily change. This could be on the North Shore. This could be in the river parishes, Bayou parishes, Mississippi, you name it. Uh, so we're going to have to watch for some heavy rain overnight and early Monday. Some spots could pick up maybe over three to five inches in that short span. So we're going to have to watch that. And then the rain chances continue into Tuesday and into Wednesday. Then by Thursday, we finally start to dry out and we look drier Friday and Saturday. So yes, we are going to be watching the chance for a few strong storms, but really multiple days of rainfall in the forecast. We're going to have to watch that threat for some heavy rain. Now, right now, this is a global model. It's not going to be as detailed as that rain model I just showed you, but it gives you a general idea that it does show the heaviest, heaviest rain through Wednesday uh, being really North Shore into Mississippi. So widespread three to five to maybe five to seven inches in a few spots. But as I mentioned, they're in the South Shore. Definitely could see maybe a few isolated spots that pick up some heavy rain. So just because you know you're in this lighter green doesn't mean uh, you're not going to see some heavy rain at times. So just stay weather aware through tonight, tomorrow, and then unfortunately it's going to be pretty stormy through at least Wednesday. I think by Thursday we'll start to see improvements and then Friday and Saturday looking nice and warm and dry.